Well, I guess at uh, 80 degrees print bed, it's not separating away. Um, it's not really stringing. Um, the uh, skirt somehow uh, printed into the bottom here. I don't know what the hell the slicer settings are, but. Like, uh, it's not a brim, it's a skirt, but apparently the distance on the skirt wasn't good enough. What we got here? We have been printing for two hours and four minutes. I think this thing was calling for like two hours and 11 or 20 minutes. We're printing 80 degrees, 250 on that. And uh, I had the print speed set at no faster than 125 millimeters a second. And the reason it's really old overture PETG which I don't like this stuff at all um, but it seems to be doing okay with this one so um, this will be the last one that I print like this um, the next one will be the new design which would be over here not this one I haven't printed this one I don't actually I don't plan on printing this one um, unless I'm going to make some some changes. So this one here, I I don't like the open space here at the end and the flexibility. Um, I don't like the, the design of a lot of this, but without like getting in here and taking measurements and uh, as far as I understand that. Uh, my friend Dave said that like Tinkercad is not good at printing holes. Uh, so what I thought about doing is just taking and making shapes here and just eradicate this whole thing. Uh, so there's a ruler here, but it doesn't seem to work real well. You take it here and go, oh, I want to measure this. Um, but I, I can figure out what the length is by uh, measuring one of them or looking at the file once it's exported. Man, I don't know. Whatever I have caught, it's either COVID or something that is I'm absolutely like plugged up. So I'm having a hard time. Um, so let's see here. We don't really have a I don't know here. It won't let me. Use endpoint. I don't know. So. I suppose there's probably another way to measure this thing. But. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to just draw one up completely from scratch. These. Uh. Spots here, I can literally just chop this, I think. I, I don't know if there's a way to easily do that with this. But I just need to have these spacings correctly. And right here, you see this round thing? That's because there's actually like a, I think a bump on the side of the radio. So uh, you can just avoid the bump on the side of the radio. But they designed the original to be a little more minimalistic, but it, it flexes really bad, so I don't really care for this type of design. So anyway, we're we're doing quite well with the print, so I, I'm surprised, so that's cool. So I'm gonna try and do this while it's finishing up.